So recently, I demoed the ceramic version of the Black Heaven pickup from Lundgren, and they were cool enough to send me an Alinko 5 version of the same pickup, what they call their Big Owl. And I figured not only would this be a good time to compare those two pickups, but it'd be a great time to get into the differences between an Alinko 5 and a ceramic magnet. Now, Alinko 5 and ceramic magnets are usually going to be what you find in uh, like a rock metal type pickup. Now, what are the differences between these two pickups? Well, an Alinko 5, Alinko stands for aluminum, nickel, cobalt. They're kind of a mesh of three materials, and because of that, they're a bit more expensive than, say, a ceramic magnet. Now, what does the number at the end of it mean? Because you're going to see Alinko 2, 3, 5. Uh, that is all about the magnetic field and the strength of that magnetic field, and usually the higher that uh, the number is, the higher the output. That's a general rule of thumb. Now, typically, Alinko pickups, because they were a uh, more expensive material, were found in more expensive guitars and pickups. And because of that, they tended to sound a bit better than, say, ceramic pickups back in the day, because a ceramic material was a cheaper material, and they were found in cheap-made guitars, cheap-made pickups, and that earned ceramic unfortunately a bit of a bad reputation one it doesn't deserve because ceramic pickups also sound great if they're made well now what are the tonal differences between these two an alinko magnet is going to be uh less output than a ceramic magnet they're typically going to be warmer uh, a bit fatter on the low end and they're going to have a bit of high end roll off ceramic magnets are higher output magnets they're hotter they're stronger magnets uh, and they're going to usually have more top end as well and they're gonna be more kind of balls to the wall. That's why a lot of active pickups and a lot of metal pickups in general are ceramic. You want that output, you want that cut, you want that aggression that maybe even back in the day some people would have thought was a little too harsh. Perfect for metal nowadays. So I have some examples going into my EVH5153. We're gonna hear these pickups compared to each other, these magnet types compared to each other. And you're gonna definitely be able to hear differences between the two magnet types. So as you can hear there, definitely differences between the two. The Alenco 5, less output. It was definitely less hot. Uh, there was definitely less going on on the top end. It was a bit thicker, a bit warmer. Uh, you could really hear that with the cleans as well. And the ceramic, while it had more output, was also much more aggressive, had a lot more going on at the top end. Uh, I hope this has kind of helped to clear up what the different magnet types mean for you. Maybe this will help you in deciding what kind of pickup you want or what versions of pickups you want and magnets that you want in the future. Thanks for watching. Stay metal.